What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6pm on Saturday and Saturday have in recent years typically been a relatively like sour day for content. There generally isn't much very often. So let's see. Shapeshifters Iago. Okay. Cool. Um, like... It's just a, such a bang average card, isn't it? No traits. We'll see what the skill moves in weak foot are. I think, was he a left back prior? Um, it requires four games of squad battles or rivals. Of course, there is a brand new squad battles glitch. I'll leave a link here or here, like a little little thing to click on if you want to go and see how to do that so that you don't actually have to play the games. Uh, five outside the box goals using Brazilian players. Goal with five separate matches. And uh, win seven matches, man. It's too many, too many games in July. Uh, but if you guys are interested in it, then there you go. Um, yeah, Shapeshifter player pack for the five wins here. That is really good. Really good. Well worth doing. Um, nothing else in objectives. Nothing else in milestones. So let's have a look at the SBCs for today. And we will go to the icons first. Garincha was already there, right? I want to say i feel like he was um leagues i don't think we'll see anything new until the leagues leave and even then i reckon we might just see them being re-upped so for live we have got nothing and for shapeshifters chris wood is there now he wasn't there yesterday i know for some people they saw him some people they didn't we've got flashback ricardo pereira one squad only wow and then that's it there as well. So, we have got Chris Wood. Now, I like this Wood card. Uh, Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves for a centre-back. Low high work rate, six foot three. Uh, he has power header trait, but he is just genuinely an outrageous centre-back, right? Okay, he's not a very good uh, finisher. You could play him at DM as well. His passing's good. His dribbling's well-rounded. His defending and physical are insane. So is his pace and anchor chem style on him. Just superb. What I really like about this Wood card is uh, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Chris Wood, that is. Uh, he's an 84, no team of the season or team of the week, and an 86, no team of the season, team of the week, and very, very reasonable chemistry requirements as well. So of all those fodder packs you guys will have from the shapeshifters and, and all that sort of stuff, yeah, I think Chris Wood is fantastic. And then Ricardo Pereira, guys. Four-star, four-star. High, high work rates at left back. Early crosser trait, which is nice. Defensively, very good. Dribbling, very good. Passing, very good. Shooting, well-rounded. Pace, very good. Physicals, very good. This is a very good card. The fact that this is only one squad has me genuinely a bit confused. I, I have a feeling this might be like an 88 rated with a team of the season or a team of the week. What do we say, NEA? An 86 rated. Here's, here's what I don't understand, right? How can they give Ricardo Pereira for an 86 rated squad? And then you could just go and do Chris Wood as well. And if you're brand new to FIFA, you go and do Pereira and Root Wood and Happy Days, right? How can they give Chris Wood for such a good price and give Pereira for such a good price, right? So Pereira is thumbed up massively as, as he should be. And where is Chris Wood? I know he was already on footbin before. Also thumbed up massively, as he should be, right? How then, how can EA then give an objective that requires seven games by the way of this Iago, who just is not anywhere near... So, okay, okay, so his four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. That's a really nice upgrade. All right, do you know what? At that point... At that point, he has a little bit more value. I'll tell you why. He's Brazilian. And that's why. Um, what I like about the Iago all of a sudden, I still, don't get me wrong, I still think seven games for this Iago is a bit OTT, right? Especially in squad battles. Um, what I like about it, though, is you can start him at left wing or left mid and then move him into the left back role. I, I think a sentinel on him makes him a very good uh, option in that defensive slot. Four-star, five-star. 
great dribbling passing for a defender with good pace and and all sorts so uh, you know you could even pop an anchor on him great pace very good defending and so it, it's not bad if you did want to play him as more of an offensive role yeah the maestro is good actually 99 short pass long pass 98 crossing 91 vision which is nice uh reasonably well rounded shooting at that point really nice long shots and shot power with good positioning and finishing good pace and then very good dribbling uh the only sad part is he doesn't have any traits uh and his curve is only 86 so even for finesse shots he's going to be lacking a little bit if you're playing squad battles anyway it might be worth going and get him i can't remember let me have a quick look were there any tokens hidden in him um because if there were then that would be no there was wow okay so no tokens in him I, I i'd personally skip him based on that on that fact uh but then yeah we have got chris wood guys i think this is a brilliant center back for a brilliant brilliant price Hundred and fifty thousand coins an anchor on him he's a 98 rated center back with 99 acceleration 98 sprint speed 99 in all defensive stats bar heading accuracy and all physical stats bar stamina and then for a center back very good vision very good short passing and good passing otherwise and then very good dribbling uh six foot three low high work rates this is like this is one of the top premium center backs in the game i would have no doubt in my mind but what i'm most impressed with because he's an 86 and an 84 right what i'm most impressed with is ricardo Pereira right here he is four star four star he has high high work rates he has the early crosser trait so in that left midfield spot he'd be very good as well and this is just a good card an anchor on him gives him 99 sprint speed and very good acceleration near perfect defending outside of heading accuracy phenomenal physicals with then great well you know not great but in the 90s we're, we're very good at this stage right very good vision very good crossing very good short and long passing with very good curve very well-rounded dribbling with reasonable shooting for a left back as well a unique body type and high high work rates other than missing out outside the foot shot trait, this is a near perfect card. You could play him at centre back because he's he's quite no, he's not quite tall, five foot nine. You could play him at centre back anyway, right? Crossing meta is still a bit broken anyway. You could play him at full back. You could play him at DM. You could play him in a cam if you wanted to. Uh, probably go with a dead eye for the cam roll. Yeah, ninety five rated cam there with uh, not quite the best long shots, but great shooting, great passing. I wouldn't personally ever play him up front, but could you could. With the uh, finisher chem style, 99 agility, balance, and dribbling, 98 finishing, good positioning, and shot power. That's a very good forward card. Uh, or with a marksman as well, he becomes a, a very reasonable card. It's just another card that is just brilliant across the board. You can legitimately play this guy within reason everywhere across the field apart from in goal. And then I probably wouldn't play him at centre back just because of his height, but it's not the be all and end all. Um,. But he could play on the wing. I mean, look at that with an engine. Near perfect pace, perfect agility, balance, and dribbling, perfect vision, crossing, short pass, curve, and 97 long pass. As a left mid or a left wing, he'll just be a beast. And he is very cheap at just an 86 rated squad. Uh, 110k on the first bounce, so probably about 100,000 coins. I think that's real good. Let me know what you think down below, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.